the shaking must recenter us back to God. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, in these days where things are so unstable, we need to remind ourselves to recenter back to God. The Bible does say that we'll hear of wars and rumors of wars. So the Lord was warning us so that when things begin to take place, that we do not um, get confused, that we do not uh, feel lost, but for us to know that it was written and it's something that, that was imminent, okay? Now, it's a good idea to, to prep. Now, the truth is with prepping, the proper way to prep is to be buying stockpile gradually over time. But now with everything that is happening, a lot of people were not prepping. It is now causing some level of stress and anxiety to try and accumulate everything. And it's not possible to do that. But every time we feel stress um, or anxious, it will help us to recenter ourselves back to God. And to um, by doing so, it will enable us to put our faith and our trust in God so that with whatever money that we have, we will go buy whatever essentials that we are able to buy. And we trust in the Lord to bless and for the Lord to, to, to provide for us. Because right now with everything that is happening, it's easy for people to panic and to have that anxiety when they realize that, well, I, I, um, my stockpile or my prepping is not up to par. Okay, more so for some countries than others. But um, let us remember to recenter ourselves back to God. Let us recenter ourselves back to God. At the end of the day, our lives are in God's hand. What needs to happen will happen. It is written that we will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Now, we are not trying to fight prophecy, but the Bible did say that the just will live by faith. And in that, we also need to exercise wisdom. And at this time, we need to get whatever foodstuffs that we can get. Now, panic buying and buying um, essentials is two different things. You gradually get what you can get, perhaps something that is on special and that is uh, something that is on special um, that you eat, okay? Then it's something that you can go get and add on to your stockpile. But remember that God is faithful. God is just. With everything that has happened, especially from the year 2020, many people's financial, many people's finances have been affected. So the Lord knows your pocket. The Lord understands. You need to just do your best and trust the Lord to do the rest. As we plan, as we go on with our everyday lives, whenever we are hit by stress or anxiety, we need to remember that God is with us. He said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you, even unto the ends of the earth. He said, a thousand will fall on your side, ten thousand at your right, but it will not come near you. Okay, the Lord, pro the Lord promised that harm will not come near our tent. But then it's the very same Bible that also says that to, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. So for people who will lose their lives, so long as they lose their lives in God, so long as we lose our lives in God, then we know that our, our future is secured. Our future is secured. There is so much that, um, that has been done, so much blood cries out to God, so much sin, so much has been done, even by previous generations. So when it's time for, for, for the wrath of God, it is time for the wrath of God. And right now, there are other countries which I feel, um, like countries like the U.S., who may feel quite vulnerable at this time, the people of the U.S., but I just wanted to also um, let the, the, the believers in the U.S. to also know that the, you, you, you may be experiencing some stress and anxiety to some level. 
believe you me, your brothers and sisters also have some level of stress and anxiety, even in their own country, because um, a war doesn't just happen and not affect the rest of the world. We'll all feel it, we'll all hear it, there will be some impact one way or the other. So it's a... Uh, it, it, we, we are all in this as the body of Christ. We are all in this, okay? It's just a matter of where it's going to start first, okay? But God's wrath, God's judgment is not something that's just going to fall just on Babylon, okay? It's not just on Babylon. There's still other countries too that also partook of the sin. So let, uh, let us all be encouraged and just trust in God that what needs to happen needs to happen. These are the end times. We are not trying to pray of prophecy. We're not trying to run away from prophecy. But rather we choose to trust in God. Whenever we feel stress, whenever we feel anxious, we recenter back to God. We recenter back to God and trust God to watch over us. We should have the attitude of of, uh, of Shadrach, Michigan, Abednego, who said, King Nebuchadnezzar, we will not bow down to your idol. You can throw us in the fire. Our God is able to save us. But even if he does not save us, we will not bow down to your gods. That should be our attitude, that our God is mighty to save. He's able to save. But even if he doesn't save us, we will also say, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain so let us be encouraged even in these last days god is still god he does not change he is that loving father and is also the god of wrath amen so let us continue to live a life of repentance and let us keep our eyes on god at this time is our time to refocus on God and to be praying. Yeah, I guess that's all there is to do. And we were born for such a time as this. God knew that we have to face what we're facing and we have it in us to fight. We have it in us to stand. And our children have it in them to, to, to thrive even in these days. Hallelujah. So in everything, let us thank God. So yeah. To God be the glory, who is loving, who is faithful. And for whatever that's up ahead, our trust is in God. Our trust is in God, okay? For me, the way I look at it, at the end of the day, we will all meet in glory one day. And it's just a matter of like, who knows how anyone will go, how anyone will go with all the flooding, the natural disasters. And all, all of this that is happening, we cannot love our lives more than we love Christ. Okay? Right now, let us recenter and keep our eyes focused on God. And also trust and believe that we will live all our years in full and fulfill our destiny and purpose. So that when we come to the end of our lives, we can say, I have run my race. I have done my best. And I'm ready to go home. Thank you guys. God bless.